Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 31 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, it's Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. If you caught last Friday's episode, I was talking about Adobe Illustrator, specifically the Shape Builder tool. Today, I'm going to respond to a reader question. Someone wrote in and asked, is there a, a way to resolve red eye inside of photographs? Now, I'm actually going to jump into Lightroom to show you there is actually a red eye tool inside the develop module. So let's go ahead and check it out. You can see on the screen in front of you, I have a photograph and this is your typical point and shoot with the flash on the front. Um, I actually had to dig through the archives to try and find a photograph where there was some red eye. So not that I'm a fantastic photographer, but hey, <laughs> I had to find an image that you guys want to see. So here we go. The way that the red eye tool works, it's very simple. It's in the toolbar over to the right and you just click on red eye reduction. Now I'll zoom in on the picture so that we can see it better. All you need to do is actually just drag. Notice I position this tool over what I think is the center of the eye and as I drag the mouse it creates this cross here. I'll make it really big so you can see it. It doesn't have to be exact on the eye. In fact when I drag it out I'll make it a little bit bigger and then I'll just let go. And it will find the area that needs to be darkened. Over to the right on the develop module panel you can see I can adjust the pupil size to expand the area that's being darkened and then I can change it so that it's just a little bit dark and gray or very very dark right so I'll go ahead and just kind of make it a little darker and then I'll go to the next picture or next picture the next eye do the same thing just kind of place in the center press and hold drag out a little bit and again I go a little bit bigger than the eye there it is I can change the pupil size by dragging and if I want to darken it some more to make it match the other one, I can do so. If I go ahead and click Done, which is down in the lower right-hand corner, or turn off the tool, you'll see the two ovals around the eye disappear. So if I back out just a little bit, here's the picture, and this would be the before, and this would be the after. This would be the before, and this would be the after. So that's a quick tip on how to use the red eye tool inside of Lightroom. Just as a quick note, it's not going to work on animal pictures because it's looking for red. And anytime you have an animal picture where the eyes are blown out, it's probably a different color, green, blue, etc. So if you like the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Hey, if you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This has been a quick hit Monday. So you know I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And if you want to see your questions answered in video format, leave me a question on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. Leave comments here on the YouTube channel or my blog, ajwood.com. So everybody, enjoy your week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.